Hello Comrader fans and welcome back to Toku Topics. So far, Comrader Geats has been having a fantastic run. With the show having about 15 episodes or so at the time of making this video, it has just been such an interesting series to watch and a very fun toy line to collect. Now a couple of months ago, I did kind of start off my Comrade Geats toy reviews or toy showcases with of course the Deluxe Desire Driver with the Zombie Raise Buckle, and then I continued in November with a little showcase of the vinyl figure from Geats. But today, I have my Desire Driver back out here again because I want to show off some of the Raise Buckles that I've gotten over the last couple of months and kind of just talk about where we're at with Raise Buckles so far in Comrade Geats. Interestingly enough, I realized after I recorded my initial video about the Display Riza, I forgot to put the Raise buckle holders onto the side of them uh, so these are the things that came with the zombie raise buckle and you see on the desire driver users in comrade geats and they fit just on there just nicely i don't even have to put the little side things on the diza uh, this is just balancing on here with friction and the little like port right there and i really really like it having this desire driver on here like this uh, makes it pretty nice for videos it kind of has to go pretty far against the wall to be able to actually fit into the frame of the camera but it does work and as you can see on here, I'm going to go ahead and start off with these guys here. So these were the first weapon set that they released in like October-ish. I think it was like mid-October that this came out. Here they are here, arrow and shield. So these are used in the show not as much anymore because every rider kind of has their own main buckle that works with their main ID core. Uh, but I do really like these a lot. I thought hammer was pretty fun. And arrow and shield here have a pretty fun the kind of mechanisms with a little pull back on the stream there and just kind of a push of the shield. Now, just like with hammer, every single weapon in Comrade Geats with these weapon buckles are repainted from a previous Comrade series. From Arrow, it's actually the weapon used by Comrade Zominus, painted green. And for the shield, it is the shield module from Comrade Forze, painted blue. And here, the colors are reflected with that. This comes in a set that's like 800 yen or so, so it was like five dollars or something to get this set or something like that or maybe it was like eight dollars i think they're like four dollars a buckle so it's like eight dollars to get this set and how could you not want this with this so of course on this side i'm gonna put shield and on this side i'm gonna put arrow and we'll hear the sounds for both of them oh. But that wasn't it for weapons. We had another weapon set released in November, which was the Claw and Chain Array combo set. And I really like these ones a lot. This one has been really fun to just kind of mess with. It was just this kind of, you know, pull back of the claw there. Now this one here looks very much to me like Gawan's Claw from Zenkaiger, uh, but it's not. They actually got this claw from the Several Tiger form of Valkyrie from the Zero One Visa Next film. And this one here actually with Chain Array, surprisingly Chain Array is actually repainted from a Sentai monster. Uh, it's painted from this ball and chain ball kind of chain array thing uh, from the SD world monster in Zenkaiger. So while this one looks like a Zenkaiger repaint, this one actually is. So I thought that was really interesting there. Uh, and this one is not as complicated. Very similar sort of mechanisms there. They did both were just kind of some pushback ones. But I think it does work nonetheless. And let's try them out in the Desire Driver. So now we have the zombie buckle on Buffa's version of the Desire Driver. Now what's really cool here is of course we've had some bigger buckles released since this initial set. Now in my original video I never actually showed off boost with zombie uh, because I did not realize that the bigger buckles all unlock some kind of special sound when you use them with boost. Buffa did finally get to use boost with zombie and I believe it was episode 5. 
an amazingly cool moment happen with it, which honestly, I have to just show it to you. It's probably going to be a copyright problem, but like, look at this clip right here. Uh, maybe I can talk over it a little bit here, but the music is awesome, but I probably can't play the music, so it's kind of like this jazz music that's like, I'm doing a terrible job with it, but like the slow motion with that awesome zoom in and everything. So here, let's hear what it sounds like when you use it in the toys. Now our first big buckle to release outside of the combo set was this one here, the Ninja Buckle. So I bought this one a couple of months ago. Unfortunately, I did not get the Monster Buckle used by Comrade or Punk Jack. I did get Beat though, uh, Beat is going to be in my next HLJ box. But today here I do have Ninja, which is the main buckle used by Kamen Rider Tycoon. Now I do believe, I think Buffa has either attempted to use it, or maybe he actually has used it. I think he did actually use it at this point, uh, but I know Geats has, but I'm just going to leave the Buffa ID core in there. Uh, because we did not get the Tycoon ID core with this one for some reason. They decided to make that one a special campaign bonus uh, with the release of the Twin Command Race buckle, which I also plan on buying here pretty soon. So I don't know if or when I'm going to be able to get a Tycoon ID core, but it doesn't really matter that much. This buckle is easily my favorite one that I have right now. I, at first, I love the look of it uh, with the shuriken on there that spins. I like the little gears and stuff in there. The green really pops. Love this metallic pink there. It's very x looking to me. I love the ninja one so much. So, if I can line it up onto the desire driver, let's transform with it. I love the spinning feature on there, it's just so satisfying. So let's go ahead and play the sound of Ninja Boost. And then for the final part of this video, I had to bring in our good friend Kamen Rider 01 to take a look at the next Legend Rider buckle. So we did get one of these if you were able to order the Desire Driver pretty early on. You might have gotten this one, the Revice Driver, which I have upside down, the Revice Driver buckle that was a first release bonus, but released in the main toy line at retail in the deluxe format was this one, the 01 Driver Raise buckle. Now Bandai has already gone very nuts with these. Uh, there's been a ton of sounds already programmed in here for Legend Riders, and Bandai blasted through releasing all of them. We have already announcements for every single Heisei Raze buckle from Kuga all the way through Geo, Zero One, Saber, and Revice from Reiwa, and even some Showa ones with a special Comrade Store exclusive set of the Keenstone from Comrade Black and the Typhoon and Double Typhoon from the original series and V3. But for today, we have the only singular released one from the toy line, the Zero One Driver from Comrade Rider Zero One. Of 
course it can spin like that on the other direction so that way you can put the buckle on the other side of the desire driver and i think these are definitely fun and very cheap uh, for fans of past series to kind of get a little representation of their favorite rider in the gates toy line and with that, that is going to do it for my first raised buckle showcase video from Kamen Rider Geats. I figured this is probably easier than doing reviews of a bunch of these buckles that have come out for months and kind of just blast through some of the current stuff I've had for the toy line. So there will be a sequel to this video coming out sometime in January, I'm suspecting, if this one does well, hopefully, uh, that will kind of be showing off some of the buckles that I have sitting in my HLJ private warehouse right now. And then I plan to get some of the power up ones and stuff like that to maybe do like a part three. But let me know down in the comments below, what did you think of this kind of video where I sort of just rapid fire through the toy line? Are you enjoying Kamen to Geats so far and if so which raised buckles do you have if you have any and which ones are you looking to get for your collection i'd love to know all your thoughts about Comrade Geats down in the comments below and until next time you guys can follow me on twitter at LiverAngelKey or at LightningFigPR and i'll see you all later